Welcome or welcome back to the channel, Virgo. This is going to be another Virgo channel. This is going to be another Virgo reading. Let's start with a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Beautiful. Please click the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already. And if you'd like to donate, you can do so in the description box below. I'm going to be pulling your tarot cards today. I have a short message for us. Let's see what comes out. Uh, I was hearing, can I ask you something? So the title of this reading is, Can I Ask You Something? This could be you, of course, saying this to someone. Can I ask you something? Okay, but I'm getting that someone wants to ask you something. So let's find out who that is. Okay, what, that it's, what it is about. Okay. Please remember to only take what resonates and fits into your story. If this doesn't sound like your story, that's okay. Check out some of the other readings on the page. All right. This is just a message that's coming up for Virgo. All Virgo placements. Can I ask you something? Who is this person? Oh, Four of Cups. Could be a Cancer. Could be somebody who you used to live with. Could be like a roommate. Okay. And see, they want to ask you something. They've been holding this in for a while. They've been wanting to ask you something for a long time here. I'm getting something about they don't want to bother you or they don't want to come off as a bother. Maybe that's why they haven't asked you yet or what they haven't like spoken to you yet with the Four of Cups. That's just going to have to stay there. Okay. Uh, let's see what's going on with this person. Can I ask you something? So it could be a cancer. It could be somebody you live with. It could be a roommate. Okay. Could have been somebody you used to live with here. Wow. Could have been somebody who broke your heart. Okay. Somebody who... I'm hearing massage. Somebody could have been a massage therapist here. There could be a massage therapist. But I'm getting somebody who, like, hurt you and has been wanting to ask you something. Yeah, three of wands. They could be seeing the number three a lot, or you're seeing the number three a lot here. This person is asking other people about you, or this person's asking God about you. I'm hearing Our Song by Taylor Swift. And I'm hearing the lyrics. Asking God if he could play it again. Oh, oh. Our song is a slim and screen door Sneaking out late, tapping on your window When you're on the phone and you talk real slow Cause it's late and your mama don't know You two could have a song together I don't know, maybe Our Song by Taylor Swift is your song But I'm hearing Our Song Do the two of you have a song together? This person's asking you, can we do a song together? Someone's like, can I write you a song? Okay Can you write me a song, I'm hearing? Cause I'm hearing Love Song by Sarah Bareilles. I'm not gonna write you a love song Cause you asked for it Cause you need one You see, I'm not gonna write you a love song I'm hearing Save Your Breath You might be telling this person You might have told this person Save Your Breath Or you might be saying this to this person Save Your Breath Okay, I feel like this person has good intentions Okay They've been waiting a long time to say something to you Yeah this is the Ace of Swords. So not only is this reading 100% accurate or 99.9% .9 accurate because, you know, I don't know if anything's 100% accurate, but Spirit is saying this is the truth. Ace of, Ace of Swords. This is also this person wanting to tell you the truth. Can I ask you something? It's like, can I ask you something, but really they're trying to confess something I'm getting. They could be confessing their feelings or their thoughts about you here or what they've been thinking. Let's see. I'm intrigued. What has this person been thinking about Virgo? Wow. The Empress? So they think that you are the one or the best, that there is no one like you. I'm hearing you're all I ever wanted. Someone's trying to tell you that? Someone has been coming off very like aloof or very just like bored or very just comfortable and someone is now getting out of their comfort zone to come towards you. That's what I'm seeing. Can I ask you something? Can I ask you out? Can I ask for your hand in marriage, I'm hearing? Can I ask you out on a date? Can I ask you something? I'm hearing, how are you so fine? How'd you get so attractive? It's like all of a sudden this person is attracted to you or something like that. What else are they thinking about, Virgo? Ooh, page of swords. If you post on social media, they love what you've been posting. They love watching you. They love, they probably hit that like button, okay? <clears throat> Or they're about to. Someone's about to slide into your DMs or someone's about to, like, 
double tap a photo and it means something. I don't understand this generation, I'm serious, but uh, the internet world, very, very interesting. So this person, you could be meeting them on the internet or this person you could have an internet connection with or something about that, something about your internet connection is shared, I'm hearing. You could share internet with this person. You could be on this person's Wi-Fi or something like that, or this person's giving you their Wi-Fi. Someone could be asking you for your Wi-Fi. There's, this person asks a lot of questions. They could be a Geminian or an Aquarius, a Libra. I'm getting this person like thinks a lot or has a lot to say or a lot to question. Okay. What else, please? Where is this going? Nine of Pentacles. They want to see if you're single. I'm hearing, can I, can I get your number? Okay. Can I ask you something, Virgo? This is coming up for you, Virgos. I'm hearing in the next 48 hours, all right? So this is why I'm filming this reading. Okay, the tower moment. Yeah, this is unexpectedly. Someone's unexpectedly making contact or someone's unexpectedly, like, reaching out to you, unexpectedly saying something. They're going from the Four of Cups to the tower. So this is someone who's, like, afraid of rejection or afraid of what you'll say. This could be somebody you've already rejected or this could be somebody who has rejected you. Take it how it applies. It could be a Scorpio energy. But I am seeing this person now like taking some kind of risk, moving forward, saying saying what they have to say, saying what's on their chest, saying what's on their mind. Can I ask you something? They're just going to do it. Okay, unexpectedly. They're just going to ask you. Okay. What else, please? What else would this person like to tell Virgo? Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. I was seeing that. Somebody doesn't want you to be single. Somebody wants to take you off the, like, single market, I'm hearing. Somebody wants to date you. Somebody could want to marry you. Okay. Somebody thinks that you have the key, I'm hearing. Or somebody thinks that you have the answers. Can I ask you something? There's definitely someone asking you for some kind of advice or some kind of answer to something here. I see some of you turning it down. Your first card is the rejection card. And then you have the Knight of Pentacles underneath the tower. Someone could be coming in very cocky, very, like, sure of themselves, very sure that, like, they're going to get you or something like that, and you turn them down or you reject them here. I don't know. I feel like someone's trying to play some kind of game. Could be you. Some of you, I feel like you're just trying to date. You just want to date. Your center card's the Empress, though, so a lot of people are looking at you like the Empress, right? No matter what you your gender is, but they're looking at you as very attractive, very handsome, very beautiful, very, um, it's more than physical too. It's like your energy, the way you speak, the way you carry yourself, all right? All of that is very attractive to these people and they're unsure of how you're single. So someone could be asking you, how are you single? How are you still single? And I feel like it's because of your standards or because of your worth here or because of what you've been through, okay? Or because you just have been bored. I don't know. I do see some of you accepting this as well and going on this date, okay, or going on dates with these with this person and being very happy. Either way, there's an overall happy outcome, which is a good sign. Okay, let's clarify the sun. I'm hearing where are you going or where are we going next? So this could be somebody asking for like a second, a third, a fourth date or something like that. I'm getting unexpectedly. You may not have talked to this person in like a week or something like that. I'm seeing something about like a week of time going by between the two of you talking or talking about this connection. Okay. There's really nothing to worry about. They're going to break the silence unexpectedly here. Someone could just be like preoccupied or they're like in their own head. I'm seeing someone is afraid of you rejecting them. I'm getting something about someone, it doesn't matter what you tell them, it doesn't matter how much you tell them, they're still going to be like unsure about you until this situation plays out or until they finally ask you what they've been wanting to ask you. I'm hearing, will you move in or can we move in together? That could be a question that's coming through. Yeah, the full card and the Ace of Swords. Movement, moving, taking a leap of faith, and the Ace of Swords is coming through again in your reading. So this reading is 100% accurate, Spirit said. Screw the 99.9, .9. this is 100% accurate for somebody. Okay, what's the sun card, please? Yeah, the answer to your question, the answer to their question, the answer to this worry. I feel like you are going to put this person at ease or you put this person's mind at ease here. I also feel like the two of you together won't have anything to worry about. Yeah, the moon card here. Someone is facing their fears. Someone is facing their fears. And they're going to be very happy with the outcome here. This could all be about you. This reading could also be all about you just needing to face your fears and needing to ask someone the question here because there's a positive outcome. Once you face your fears and once you get over this anxiety and you just say the thing or ask the thing, you'll get the answer. 
I'm also hearing you need to ask more or you need to ask for more. All right, take the how it applies. I'm hearing God, you need to ask God more. Or you need to ask God for more. I'm hearing, or this person is doing that. I hear, I'm hearing this person's asking God for you, okay, for some of you. But I'm also hearing God gave me you. So this person views you as like a gift from God. Yeah, the Empress card here. In this person's mind, you can do no wrong. In this person's mind, like everything about you is beautiful. Everything about you is perfect. Everything about you makes them like light up inside. Okay. Let's get one final card for this. And then just Oracle message for Virgo. It says burnout. Okay. So your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. There's an affirmation they want you to use, I am healthy, okay? Or I am healthy, wealthy, and wise. My mind is healthy, my body is healthy, I am healthy, okay? That's coming through at the end of your reading. Try to avoid any burnout right now, Virgo. That's what I see for you. I hope that this helped and resonated. If it did, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet already, and if you'd like to donate for this reading or future readings, you can do so using the description box below. That's it for me. Thanks for watching.